Good day and welcome to my simple um, video tutorial on a uh, school based reporting system for basic schools in Ghana. Alright, so um, it's a very simple uh, school assessment report card system that uses the power of Excel and Microsoft Word. You know, I've, I've linked Excel and Word together to do this amazing job for our dear teachers in Ghana. So let's look at how the system works. Actually, the Excel contains the main database source file. That's the main system. And then the Word is what we, we use to print the report cards after you've entered your data in the Excel system. So I'm going to open the Excel system for you. Uh, yeah. So, right, so now I can open the Excel. Good. So this is the dashboard of the program. Actually, this program can take a maximum of 60 students in the class. 60 students. So you can register to 60 students. When I've registered only four students, let me try and register the fifth one. I use that one as a demonstration for you to see how the system works. So I'm going to register Teria. Sorry. So I'll push your Teria. Push your Teria has been registered. So now if you come to the Worksheet, his name has been added, but no score. All right, so we have to give scores to her. Uh, let me, let me, let me duplicate some scores here for her. Okay. So I come here. I come to mathematics. Let me do the same. Sorry. Now there is a validation rule on this program. For example, let's see. I was trying to enter 40 and the system tells me that I can't enter 40 in that particular column. Why? Because test one is taking up to 30 marks. So I have coded a validation rule that checks to see that you don't enter more than expected marks. I mean, it's, it's, it's just that you uh, cross check on what you input in the system. So that there will not be any um, error in the system. So input on 30. Yes, so. I think that one is okay. Let me duplicate the rest here. Let me duplicate the rest here. Okay, so here we say 99. So that is it. Now I'll come back. Size. So let me record for size. Let's say 50, sorry, 50 will go. 80. 19, 18. 29. 20 then this one will be 98 so science okay I just recorded science so pretty words I want I want I want to have a tie here for the two of them so I come here RME I'm going to enter 100. So, ICT. Wow. So, 100 throughout. So, it goes to GA. I just want to get data filled. Please, should I take it to the next stage of the program so the next phase take that is gone so the last one is French uh, I'm going to duplicate the score here for her so let me give her 88 so that is it so I'm done with the data entries for the new system I just registered so I go to the master sheet master sheet good now on the master sheet what you need to do is to give your uh, remarks as a class teacher so you give your remarks here Looking at the person's performance, you can see that um, on the average, the person scored 95% average score and position, total position class is first. So if we've come here, what we're going to do is just to give a remark, say kudos. Kudos, girl. Kudos, girl. That's 
bend it. Four months. So nice waist for her because she's done well. Now, you've done that. Then let's move on here. Total attendance in class. Maybe the person attended came to school 55 times in a term. So you record it. Now you are done. You are done with the SL database. Now what I will urge is that, you know, as a class teacher, it's as and when you do your test, you record it down with your official laptop or school machine. You can record it, you save it, you record it, you save, you record it, you save. So that all the time, you wouldn't have any work to do. Your podcast are already generated. You don't do anything. So because currently what we use is that they will give you this assessment sheet and you record manually before you go and transfer it on a report card. It's a whole lot of work. So I'm trying to simplify the process and make it so easy for everybody to, to use. And you can see this is not any sophisticated program that is going to require uh, any special training. So far as you have s simple a basic knowledge in Excel word, you are good to go. So I decided to um, use Word and Excel to make it very simple. All right, even though I have um, a very a, a complete school management system, a web-based one that takes care of transportation, school fees, feeding, dormitory, everything, the library and everything. But this one is just for um, those of us who, who would love to have a very simple program for only report cards. So come here, let's close the SL web book. Then you make sure you, close, uh, you save the uh, data you've entered, save. So that is done. Then you come to the word. Here's where you're going to generate your report because so you open word. You just have to open word. Then it will prompt you that um, opening this one will run a, a SQL command as a structured query language. I have queried the access um, database. Sorry, the SL database. Sorry, I've queried the SL database to actually populate the results on the word uh, report card. So you say yes, and it opens one report card for you. This is the third student, you can see the index number. So how do we get the report cards for all of them? How do we do it? You just need to click on mailings, then you come here, then you say, now, before you even go there, let me teach you something. Here you need to enter yourself. Academic year, this and that. You need to enter yourself. You need to enter academic year, term, we open it, and then the class. Then you leave this one and this one for the, the, the SL to, to publish because as for the name, SL will bring it and then the ID card and then the results. You can see everything is there. Everything is there. Everything is there. So, no more rule you enter, but attendance. This one, the 54, is what the one you did in SL, so you don't touch it. But the number of days you came to school, if it is 50 days, we just put 50 days. No, this one should be out of, this is uh, 58. Good. So that is what you will do. Then, the rest is for the program to do itself. So the first person, the first person, 58, but the on our, uh, and the SL we entered 50. So the second person came 55 to 58, 54 to 58, in that order, according to how you you entered them in the SL spreadsheet. Hope oh, it's here. So now you just come straight here and say finish. Editing the video document, then you have five students, so one to five. Just one to five. Then to generate their report cards for you, all of them. These are their report cards. Now, if you are in a school that wish to put their passport pictures on the report cards, this is what you do. You right click on it, format auto shape, fill effects, select picture, then Kwame. So I'll select a boy. So go to the next student, select the picture, 
see the picture this one is a girl so you're going to put I'm going to put my lady here good then the next person drop it you just right click on it um in fact there's a documentation on the pictures i mean you don't just put any picture there i've resized the pictures so i'll give you the size so if you have a photographer who's coming to take the pictures for your school maybe your students when the photographer can take them they said got documentation you give the size the photograph that after the person has the pictures might be cropped to that dimension and also at least it, it is better he, he does it or she does it on the white background because we're going to print it like this so that you look nice all right so over here we're going to change the picture i didn't even check the person a boy or girl a boy so let's uh, let's check it let's check a boy there so you put a boy there this is also a boy so i'm gonna put a boy over there over there over there and then this is a boy Sorry, because it's a year as a girl, so let me change the picture. Change the picture here, okay? Change to one, okay? All right, so if you have finished inserting pictures, then you are a classic, you have finished your job, you're not going to write anything. Everything to that position in class, everything has been said, but there's a broadsheet. In the SL, this is that I'm going to give you a link in, on the dashboard that you click on it to print you the broadsheet that is me going to paste it in class so that we see from first to last arranged each score and position and everything. So I, I, I have that one too in the SL uh, brush. So if you have it like this, you see that it's a new document, you can save it as a PDF and print, or you can print it straight from here. So I'm going to print straight up and I just order print and to be printed. When you have all the podcasts generated, it's very simple and easy to use. Nice. Thank you for watching.